The T sound is voiceless, which means your vocal cords don't vibrate. Place your tongue behind your upper teeth when pronouncing T. Keep the tip of your tongue lightly touching the roof of your mouth for a crisp T sound. Avoid heavy or excessive airflow when pronouncing T. The T sound is typically pronounced with a sharp release of air. Be careful not to aspirate the T sound too much. Avoid a strong puff of air. Pay attention to the length of the T sound. It's usually short and quick. In some American accents, the T sound may be softened or even dropped in certain words. When T is followed by an N sound, it can become a soft D sound. A practice saying words like button, kitten, and cotton to master the T sound before N. Be mindful of the difference between a hard T and a soft T sound. Some words have a slight flap, like butter. Avoid adding a schwa sound after the T. Keep it clear and concise. When T is at the end of a word, it's often a quick tap or glottal stop, like in cat. Remember to release the T sound before moving on to the next word or sound. Free. Listen to native speakers and mimic their pronunciation to improve your T sound. Use minimal tongue movement for a precise T sound. Don't overextend your tongue. Practice saying tongue twisters with T sounds to enhance your pronunciation skills. The T sound should be crisp and clear, not muffled or slurred. Avoid replacing the T sound with a glottal stop in the middle of words. Keep it distinct. Pay attention to the preceding vowel sound when pronouncing the T. It may influence its pronunciation. OK vs a be mindful of word stress. In multisyllable words, the T sound may become softer in unstressed syllables. Try practicing minimal pairs like to and do to notice the subtle differences in T sounds. Avoid dentalizing the T sound excessively by touching your tongue to your teeth. Pay attention to the rhythm and flow of your speech when pronouncing T sounds in sentences.